Hello YouTube, this is Nam Man. Welcome to my channel, Draman, Jack of All, Master of None. <laughs> yeah, I'm really getting behind on this particular project. I'm sorry, Tavis. This is taking a lot longer than <clears throat> this is taking a lot longer than I expected. <laughs> Today I'm going to do several things again. Before I explain what those are, I want to share my third goal on this channel. Make a, a friend one video at a time. <laughs> you, ex you understand why I want, I'm reminding you of that. As you can see, I'm still drawing uh, tablets from Bono talk with Tavis. <laughs> Sorry, Tavis. <laughs> this is taking way longer than I expected. I'm sure it is longer than you expected as well. Sorry for being late. I hope to finish this up by the time this video is, is over. Also, Steve from Vinyl Community, Steve Carson channel, is running his final contest. Since his final contest is about thanking people of a Bana community about them introducing you to new music or old music that you didn't know about whatever uh, allowing you to enjoy the music and he's, th he's thanking them about that on top of his contest that celebrates his one year anniversary of uh, what happened to him a year ago and how he recovered with the help of the vinyl community I thought that was a really excellent uh, reason to have a contest and since it's his final contest I say you know I need, I need to join this join in and being thankful for people of my community and on top of all that I saw Beth from Luzhuan Records and Ra from Happy Hippie Channels they were being they were making videos a thread about being thankful to or having, grat uh, having gratitude towards people of their community and giving shout outs. So uh, I thought all these things are related, me being thankful to Tavis for having enough confidence in me to uh, ask me to draw him, uh, Steve running, you know, being thankful to the community and running this particular contest, Beth and Rod uh, doing a gratitude threads. I thought these are all related, so I'm putting all this in this one video. <laughs> I know it's not a for a friend, single friend. It's for people of this community that I feel like they are my friends, plural. <laughs> uh, and, and but and I crammed it all in this one video. <laughs> but uh, but they were I feel like they are already my friends, you know. So <laughs> I just want to keep them as friends. If I miss anybody, please uh, don't take this wrong. I. I could have just as easily have forgotten. I run this channel for now three or four years already. And, you know, if I did, I apologize. Please let me know. You know, I'll provide the email down so you could email me and say, hey, look, you forgot. I, I want to be your friend. And I say, hey, dude, I want you. I want to do or do that. <laughs> I want you guys to be my guys and girls to be my friends. So, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. But I do want to point out all those people I have interacted with. I want to show my gratitude toward them, especially. So, you know, if you have interacted with me, please let me know. And I forgot about you. Please let me know, okay? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do all this while I'm finishing drawing tablets. <laughs> so, and hopefully by the time this video is made, that uh, most of Tavis' drawing has been done. And have you guys, uh, you know, get some feedback from my friends uh, from the community. Anyway, uh, uh, here goes my uh, talking over the Tavis' drawing. Here's the co-host. He woke up. Yeah. All right, um, we'll wait for him to settle down. So I am looking for you to talk about 
four, four more albums that someone, it doesn't have to be the VC, but someone inspired you to buy or were given to you. And it just, it, it opened up a new world for you. It, it, and, and, and it became very exciting. So think about that. We all have that. I have hundreds here, hundreds because of what everyone gave me. So that's what I'm looking at. Now, the prize. This would be my biggest one I've ever done. This is my last contest. I, I'm not. I'm not expecting another natural disaster. Okay. Uh, it just happened to me recently. Mr. Finglish sent me like a dozen CDs. Actually, a winning from my contest. I mean, his contest about a year ago. <laughs> and he he was kind enough to think about me for a whole year, trying to send this to me through the pandemic, he collected like a dozen CDs and, and made a very nice package for him to send it to me. I really appreciate that. I made a video about it when I first got the package. I was listening to one of the music from my friend from Finland. I got a VCLT from him. VCLT stands for Vano Community Love Train. Mr. Finglish, my a fellow YouTuber, a friend from Finland, um, who creates videos for Vano community. And uh, he sent me some stuff. A lot of good stuff, looks like. It looks like a little, there's a sticker I got, EMP sticker. Okay. This is the one I was listening to. I love it. The beautiful voice from the lady singer in here great stuff okay here's uh, uh, more stuff send me a lot of stuff Mr. Fingers Another person I want to thank is Rob from Happy Hippie. He recently introduced me to Garth Brooks' box set and reintroduced me to Garth Brooks' music. <laughs> Actually, uh, I think uh, Beth from Regional Records, she also uh, mentioned Garth Brooks' box set, I don't think about a month or so ago. But recently, Rod is the one who introduced me to it. And matter of fact, he and I actually talked about it on his channel. Here's the clip. And another thing we've been talking about is this box set. Oh yeah! Oh, and yeah. Th this is the Guilty Pleasure box set, the Garth Brooks box set. Yeah, because uh, I saw Rod's video, him getting this, and I'm from Oklahoma State University, right? Right. And Garth Brooks is from Oklahoma State University. Okay. And I feel bad, I have one CD of Garth Brooks. And now you got the box set. And because of Rod showed me this uh, box set, with the seven albums, Seven CDs, fifty that, bucks. For fifty bucks, I say, wow, fifty nine. I think fifty nine, but whatever. <laughs> so I got, I got me one. Uh, I'm listening to it during my road right. trip. Yeah, it's it's my guilty pleasure. I mean, I don't listen to it all the time, but I mean, me and him were talking. We may not have been fans of it at the time, but it kind of grows on you. Yeah, it's just a. I mean, uh, I'm in Oklahoma. Uh, just uh, everywhere, it's sort of an ambient thing, you know? Right. You know, yes. uh, and then when you get old and you hear the familiar sound, and you say, wow, okay, I, actually, I, I don't mind it. Yeah. I don't mind that music. And somebody <laughs> we made fun of at the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? The other person I want to thank is Richard Riley. He introduced me to Ragtime. He showed me how self-playing piano works, how to recall them, how to recall pianists playing these pianos so that you could play back without the pianist there anymore. Cool way to record music. <laughs> uh, he sent me a bunch of CDs to for, so that I will learn about ragtime. Oh, okay. Okay, King of the Barrel House. Barrel House? Carl Sunny, Lebelin. Where's that? 
Alabama bound with the gale horn, piano. <laughs> Play blues, 57 different kind of blues. High Society, John Gill Piano. Ragtime Primer. <laughs> wow, thank you, Richard. Um, I'm going to listen to these and come back. Okay? <laughs> I'll be right back. Well, I'll probably, well, all this. It'll be a while. I'll be back. But in video time, you'll be just like. The fourth person I want to thank is Matt Hayes from Matt Hayes Vinyls. He introduced me to this group called Gorillas. <laughs> um, ever since 70s and 80s. I stopped paying attention to music for about two, two three decades, maybe. <laughs> well, uh, after uh, getting involved with the vinyl community, I started realizing I missed a bunch of uh, new groups, and Gorillaz was one of them, and Matt Hayes was uh, the reason why I got me a Plastic Beach and became a Gorillaz fan. Uh, here's a, I think I did a little video on, uh, on that find, so I'll provide that video here. But I, I, I find me this. I think Matt may intro introduce this album a long time ago. I'm not sure. I could not find the video that he introduced this album. But I found this Gorilla's Plastic Beach. And I do want to do a little review on this album. I was impressed with the. I sampled some of the music. Like, uh, here's a. Let's show you the. Next group of people that I want to thank are those people who actually enter my contest. Yeah, my contest. I called it ACVC. It was a while ago, about a year ago. It's still for our community, vinyl community. It meant to show that there are music lovers in our community and art lovers in vinyl community. I think I have successfully shown that vinyl community has our community within <laughs> with the help of following friends Mr. Finglish from Bad English Rex I already talked about him Vinyl Richie funny dude <laughs> Randall Weaver friend of mine I had a couple meet up with him I'll be talking more about him later on Norman Maslow I love his whack -a mole series Eric Weinbender uh, Mr. Pop Culture collects all kind of different things besides vinyl records comic books he's a great artist a Pro chef, beautiful girlfriend Veronica. Hi, Veronica. <laughs> Bill, the Vinylverse. Bill from the Vinylverse. He's I've known him as a uh, barbecue master, <laughs> drummer, and he's diehard Phil Collins fan. He has a great series right now where he presents his 45s through MTV Music kind of thing really fun to watch fun to listen to Richard Riley I already talked about Richard Riley and his rag time Jeff Rosnock Kisami dude I'm gonna talk about Jeff more later on Dave from culture fan another pop culture guy collects movies music um, he does art he's just he's just uh, walking in Sakapia in pop culture. Rob from Happy Hippie, the vinyl guy. I had a meet up with him. I will be talking more about Rod later on as I talked about him before too. Dave Newton, the Unsullied Vinyl, uh, very talented guitarist. Uh, he has another channel called Dave's Horror. Um, I'm not much into horror, so I'm not going to visit that channel that much, but I do visit his Unsullied Vinyl uh, quite a bit. 
Steve Carson from Vinyl Community. Yeah, Steve Carson gets involved in everything in Vinyl Community. So, and he's one of the reasons why I'm making this video. Uh, and I want to add, uh, add one more name to that. And she's not from Vinyl Community. Moral from the Looming Moral. I call her Moral. She got a different name, but I'm going to call her Moral. Uh, she, she's a great artist. She, she does excellent video editing. I miss her quite a bit because she's not producing much videos lately. So I'm looking forward to her next pro project. Uh, it is a project for her because it, it's a, a lot of educating and a lot of uh, editing in her videos. Well, these are the people who got involved with me personally, not just in this contest, but these people regularly comment on my channel, and I, I just appreciate these people. Uh, and they get involved when I suggest something, you know, so it's more of a two-way street with them, so that's what I appreciate about them. Next group of people I want to thank are those people who interact with me via comments. Either I comment on their videos or they comment on my videos and we respond to each other's comments. Uh, I think that's just lifeblood of YouTube channels, perks of YouTube channel owner, <laughs> in my view. Prime example is Rob of Boston, uh, Penix 1960s channel. I call Rob glue of a uh, vinyl community. He's the elder, of, def he's definitely his elder of vinyl community. But because he leaves comment on everyone else's channel, everyone else's video, I mean, in vinyl community, uh, that we are all tied to each other via Rob's comments. <laughs> I think he makes his own video maybe once every two months, maybe three months, but he leaves comment on everybody else's uh, vinyl related video. Awesome dude. He's been supporting me since uh, I joined the vinyl community. Uh, Jeff Jeffrey Rosnock invited me to vinyl community and Rob of Boston welcomed me to the vinyl community. <laughs> Uh, two great guys and I'm really thankful for Rob of Boston for all the, those comments. Comments that I'm going to miss is from Krista Austin. She had a channel, She, um, for unfortunate reasons, she had to delete all her videos and she quit YouTube. I'm going to really miss her. She supported me since uh, my Banzai videos. She loved my Banzai videos. I love her, her natural videos that she makes. She's more from Banzai community than Banzai community, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss her uh, friendship. Yeah, but uh, you know that's how the friendship started develop through comments. You know, uh, another person I appreciate is people who I can learn from, like Paul from Berka P Dub, uh, through comments and his encouraging words on my videos. I mean. Paul is an excellent video editor. His his musical knowledge is, is just out of this world. And just watching his video, you get to learn how to edit videos and learn how to listen to music. <laughs> just awesome dude. And that kind of person is still willing to communicate with you. It's just awesome. Through comments, that is. Uh, Jenny from Besides, she. Uh, she and I communicate with, through the comment section, but we also communicate through her live videos, doing live auction. She uh, gave me some great deals. I was able to win a whole bunch of cassette tapes, a great deal. <laughs> and I was able to pass that along with, to my good friend Jeff Rosnock, and I was so happy that I was able to do that. And it was thanks to Jenny from B Side Record. And, She's occasionally come to my channel and give me some good words and I occasionally go to her channel and I like to think that I leave some positive words there too, but it's a great way to, again, have a relationship and friendship. Mm. Another B-side record ch channel, called, now it's called Visual Records, run by Beth. Uh, Beth Jenny and Beth are both soundtrack collectors, uh, but Beth is definitely more focused on soundtrack and and uh, uh, horror movies soundtracks 
but uh, I really love her knowledge and soundtrack and she leaves a lot of feedback uh, what do you call it tags and fees that I like to get involved in but I just don't have time to I do get in, involved in some of them but <laughs> her Stephen King uh, uh, for instance tag was awesome that I had to get involved on so yeah uh, Beth is a fun person to uh, follow and comment and receive comments from the next two guys are actually just commenters I don't think they have their own channel uh, but I really appreciate them for just leaving me comments now, let me tell you why Dogfather0802 and Anthony Allison they left me comment on my uh, KD65A do yourself fix fix a K six five five video whatever you call it. <laughs> anyway, they left comments saying, "Hey, you helped me fix this and this. Uh, what do you do about this and that?" And they asked me questions, and through those questions, I was able to make another video saying, "Hey, I didn't answer these questions on this video, um, previous videos. So I'm going to answer them here." And through their, you know, thanking me for making the video. I, you know that made me so I, I just feel I feel so great because uh, I know these videos are not meant for many people but I swear I would make a video for just one person because if that video is helpful for that one person you know it just makes you feel great and when they let you know about it oh gosh thank you guys thank you guys for letting me know <laughs> and so yeah that's how comments work Again, comment is a lifeblood of YouTube channels. I appreciate it. <laughs> Another group of people I want to thank are not do we only exchange comments, but we exchange videos. <laughs> Good example is Liz from Elda Ida. I fell in love with her when she did a video of Tom Cruise lip syncing Bob Seger's old time rock and roll. <laughs> and she danced to it and everything too. I just fell in love with her. I commented on it. And ever since then, uh, she's been uh, naming me. It's something like, This is for you, brother, not man, you know. <laughs> um, for instance, uh, just recently she did a video, lip syncing video of a uh, Phil Collins old song, and I go, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> so I had a responding kind and made my own video, giving her a shout out, and so we basically created a video for each other, in my view. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just love that you know where we not only exchange comments but we also exchange videos with each other another person that did that with me is uh tavis i want to talk with tavis one of the reason why i'm drawing tavis right now is because he exchanged comments and he exchanged videos with me for instance when i was doing the shepherd video and i'm i was cooking steak tavis gave me a shout out saying hey i, I love the how naman cooks steaks so i'm going to do steaks and he did a steak video <laughs> he did chili video uh, and he started doing other cooking videos uh, you know occasionally and he always gave me a shout out and i just really appreciate that about him you know and then uh when he did a steak video i gave him he gave me a shout out so i did another video giving him a shout out so we exchanged videos we communicated that way one day I was drawing some, I did a video on some drawing and he said, I like this drawing, now nah, man, can you draw me too? I'll pay you. And I said, no way, man. I'll do it for free. Uh, actually, I do it for you giving me a shout out or you giving me a jingle because you're the music man, you're the music teacher. I, know, I love your jingle on your channel. Give me a jingle too. <laughs> so, you know, we, we make exchange like that. It's just too cool, too cool. So... Uh, another person that I changed a lot of videos with, of course, is Jeff Rosnock. He's been supporting me ever since my Gabbana community videos. He's my bonsai, Redwood bonsai uh, teacher. 
He helped me uh, help me grow my bonsai, the redwood bonsai trees, actually redwood trees, and um, he's a great experimenter in those kind of things, and yeah, I, uh, those people who just do bonsai videos, I think Jeff Rosnack is more knowledgeable than, knowledgeable than those guys, and he will give me some videos privately, I will give him some videos privately, uh, he makes some videos about me, for v not just for VCLT but for other stuff we did a lot of VCLT exchanges as well so Jeff Rosnock is one of those people that I exchange videos with and from get-go yeah <laughs> appreciate you Jeff <laughs> anyway till next time let me know Okay, okay, this is bonus groups <laughs> that I want to thank, give thanks to. Some of these people I already mentioned before. Um, first person I never mentioned before and previously, Corey from Just Add Vinyl channel. He does this uh, vinyl record store across America. <laughs> well, ever since I had a meet up with the Randall Weaver twice, and ever since I had a meet up with the uh, Rod from Happy Hippie. Uh, Corey raised interest in having a meet up with me, and I, and he invited me, and I said, you know what, I want to change my one of my driving routes, you know, where I drive to Columbus, Ohio, where he is at, and I said, hey, let's have a meet up. So we arranged a meet up coming up, and so I want to thank Corey. I I always. Uh, uh, Corey and I always interact with each other via comments before, and now we get to actually do a meetup. Uh, Corey, by the way, I'm going to call my um, meetup videos from here on. I'm going to steal from you, okay? <laughs> That's what good friends do, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm going to steal from you. What I'm going to steal is that I'm going to call all my meetups vinyl channels across America. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do one for Rod from Happy Hippie, and I'm gonna do one from uh, uh, Randall Weaver, and then I'm gonna do one with you, Corey. <laughs> and well, uh, hopefully in our next meeting that you'll give me some tips on how to do those uh, documentary videos that you do so well on, you know, and uh, yeah. Uh, it it won't it won't be any good at first, okay? But uh, you know, our next meetup it'll get better. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, so basically, I'm going. I want to have a not just from vinyl community, but if I'm able to do meet up with the uh, people in our community or people in bonsai community, I would love it. I would love it. So um, yeah, maybe I should call it. Um, YouTube channel across America, maybe <laughs> to broaden the scale a little bit. But uh, I'm thinking way ahead right now. <laughs> anyway, this is a, a bonus mention of my good friends. Uh, I purposely uh, left you out, Corey, um, from, because I wanted it to be a bonus. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is for real. Till next time, let me out. <laughs>